Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about Espresso, Espresso Systems, what it is and how you can be eligible for the airdrop. They have their testnet going on right now. We're going to use their testnet and we're going to deploy a contract. As you know, previously people that were developers or, you know, around the contracts on different platforms or got more airdrop, I'm going to show you how to do that. It won't take too long and the best thing to buy is all free because it's all on just testnet. And per usual guys, before I get started, nothing is financial advice in my videos. So let's get started. So um, what is Espresso? Briefly, Espresso claims to be, we are lead of developers of Espresso's, of the uh, Espresso Sequencer, which supports rollups with decentralization, scale and interoperability. Here's an article on Coindesk when they read some money. And here it says, Espresso system is developing a layer one or base blockchain infrastructure to deliver fast, low fee transactions by integrating a proof of stake consensus protocol with zero knowledge rollout mechanism that can bundle multiple transactions in a more resource efficient way the company's configurable asset private privacy for ethereum smart contract application is intended to offer creators customizable privacy regarding sending regarding sender and receiver address and the amount of amount any type of assets held or in movement the elements can all be set to public private or only transparent to select parties hopefully you understand a bit but, 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 but as far as i understand they were doing some work in layer two area as well so, so yeah i'll link this link in the de description so here you can see how much they raised which is quite interesting because they've raised 32 million but the caliber investors are all like tier one is very very good investors that they've got on board so here you can see you got sequoia capital Coinbase Ventures, Polychain, Blockchain Capital, Electric Capital, Greylock, Slow Ventures, Robo. Yeah, apart from Terra, when Terra was alive, they were, I guess, considered a tier one and elevator research too. So I hope you get some idea of the type of projects, right? I know the logo is different here, but if you go on the Twitter for beer, is the Espresso that I'm talking about as well. Espresso Systems. Let, let's look into it. So first thing you need to do is get some Sepulia Eve. Now, if you watch my daily to do or airdrop booster, video you already have ethereum sepalia that's why i tell tell people to do this because this is something that you always need it's good to have a habit of just claiming some every day every week what you need to do is go on this website and put your ethereum address here and hit send me eth uh, make sure you click the capture i'll also link some other places where you can get sepalia eth so sepalia eth is testing ethereum it doesn't cost anything but it's a place where developers will launch their projects to see if it works before putting on the main chain but there's one called goalie and there's one called once you've done that what you want to do is you want to add the network so here you can say you can see i'm already on the network but if i wasn't i'd have to go on the network i could just click this button here and it will, it will let me launch on the network next thing you want to do is you want to bridge some tokens now that you've got sepalia eth you need to send it to the kyoto this test net of theirs is in conjunction with old layer and it's a two for one one me you can call it to even get this kyoto as an option what you need to do is you need to make sure you're on ethereum mainnet go to settings and turn on a developer mode once you turned on the developer mode you're going to have to add some some set some text here and hit add chain then you'll see the kyoto network come up here and then you'll all see it here you can see on my notes I've got it written down as well. You need to bridge, add the developer mode of, yeah, Sepalia. And then copy and paste the code from here. This is where the code is. So here, bridge assets. What you need to do, you just follow follow these instructions. Go on that website. You paste it in where I just mentioned in here. And then you'll see it. Once you've done that, then you just send some from Sepalia, Ethereum Sepalia to Kyoto. Some people say you need to send it from Arbitrum, but I don't see why. Maybe they have another partnership or something happened with on Arbitrum Sepalia. So what I done, I tried to send it from both. I'm not sure both of them work. I sent it from Ethereum Sepalia. And then one of them, I went from Ethereum Sepalia. I sent it to Sepalia. And then from Arbitrum Sepalia, I sent it to uh, Kyoto. Once you've got the funds, now what you can do, you can transact with it. So you can send it to another wallet. Basically, you can receive it from that wallet. Just make sure you do some transaction. The other thing is because it's so new, there's not much to do in terms of in terms of like you know a exchange or something like that, or use some DApps. So what you can do is you can run a contract. For that, you need to go on Third Web. I'll I'll leave the link in the description. Then what you want to do, the link will take you here. You'll have to sign up if you haven't signed up. It's free to sign up, and then click on Deploy Now. 
And then once you hit deploy now, put the name, symbol, and description. You can choose whatever you want. You, d you don't have to put an image, but if you need an image, just go on this website on splash.com. You don't need to worry about any licenses on the copyright. Upload the image here, and then your, your address will be here. And then what you need to do, this stuff you can leave. You need to add the network because I've already added it. It says it here. But for you, you'll have to add it. So click on it and hit add custom, net uh, custom network. So once you hit that, you'll have to fill up all this. This one will be on testnet. We can write Kyoto, Kyoto, chain ID. I'll, I'll give you the currency symbol will be Ethereum, testnet, and this. So if you see my notes, you can see I've got the RPC already is, is this. Uh, the chain ID is that. So I'll put the link, in the, I'll put all of this in the description. Rest, you just leave it as default. This one, you don't need to worry about it. And then hit add network. Once you've done that, you hit deploy now. Now, I did do it a few times. The first time it worked, the second time it didn't work. If it doesn't work, just do it a few times, and if it still doesn't work, just go on the Discord and it should work. So as you can see in mine, if I go to my contracts, you will see here I've got one Kyoto because, I've, I've like I said, it did work the other day when I done it, but today, for some reason, it hasn't been working. But yeah, guys, that's, that's it. And then what you can do is just go on the Discord. You want to be following the Discord, the social media, everything, and you want to tell, tell them how it went, etc. They can improve on it. And what you want to do is um, subscribe to my channel and uh, my Telegram because if there's any more things to do regarding this, I'll uh, sometimes it doesn't warrant a full video in one of my uh, posts or sometimes I'll just mention it at the end of one of my videos. And so uh, hopefully you got, you got some value from this. It's very early. There's not too much to do. But those are the ones you want to do that are less under f the, the ones that are less farmed. The ones that people are doing, not talking about a lot. Those are the ones that could be potentially big. Guys, hope you got some value from this video and I'll see you in the next one.